Manchester United have already been linked with James Rodriguez earlier in May when reports from Colombia said that we had agreed a deal in principle to bring the attacker to Old Trafford. Those reports kind of got a little bit quiet as the Antoine Griezmann rumours intensify. But now that Griezmann is staying at Atletico Madrid, it looks like the Rodriguez rumours are back. French TV journalist Mohamed Bahafsi, the journalist responsible for breaking the Anthony Martial to Manchester United stories, and he was also very accurate with the Pogba stories. He is reporting this, that Real Madrid are looking to make a bid worth 135 million euros for 18-year-old Kylian Mbappe from Monaco, the striker that Manchester United have also been linked with, but we're certainly not going to make a move at that price. Now, that he is saying that Real Madrid are going to fund that deal by selling certain players, one of them being James Rodriguez. Now, his agent, Jorge Mendes, has been instructed to find a new club for Rodriguez, and the report says that Manchester United and Inter Milan are both in concrete talks to sign the player. One thing to note there is it's kind of interesting to hear Inter Milan linked with somebody who plays out on the left wing because obviously Ivan Perisic plays out there too, who Manchester United are supposedly signing. Maybe Inter Milan see him as a potential replacement for Perisic, although they're not particularly the same player. But it's interesting to hear they're getting linked with him as well as Manchester United. And as for Kylian Mbappe, I've got no doubt that he can go on to become one of the world's best players, but at 18, Manchester United can't really take that risk on spending, what, nearly two, three times the amount we spent on Martial and the pressure that was on his shoulders and the pressure that was on Pogba's shoulders last year. For an 18-year-old to go for that amount of money, phenomenal, phenomenal. And a club like Real Madrid is probably the only club who could really afford to do that. So I'm not surprised to hear that he is going for that price because Monaco don't want to let him go. He's a real gem but I'm not surprised that Manchester United will not go anywhere near that bid. That's a lot of money for a teenager. And Mourinho wants an experienced striker. He wants a proven striker to come in and solve Man United's problems. And Mbappe could do that, but it would be a little bit of a risk and a very big risk at that price. Now, as for James Rodriguez, we've previously shown how much more prolific he is in a goals and assists per minute ratio than all of Manchester United's attackers. He's nearly twice as good as basically our whole squad, 11 goals and eight assists in just under 1,500 minutes for Real Madrid last season. That's a fantastic return. And he clearly doesn't have a big role to play in Zinedine Zidane's Real Madrid side. He wasn't even in the matchday squad for the Champions League final against Juventus. And if that's not as big an indicator as possible, that he really doesn't have a part to play in Zidane's Real Madrid, then I don't know what is. But 70 million euros, that seems like quite a lot especially when you consider Manchester City have just signed Bernardo Silva from Monaco. I think he's two, three years younger than James Rodriguez and he just had an outstanding season in the league champions and a team that got to the Champions League semi-final. He went for around 50 million euros. So 70 million for a player who's a few years older and didn't have such an incredible season as Bernardo Silva does seem slightly overpriced. But I think that's probably more to do with the fact that Real Madrid paid around 60 to 63 million pounds for Rodriguez only three years ago. They're interested in recouping as much money as possible, and especially if they're gonna spend 135 million on Kylian Mbappe. I mean, let's be honest. James Rodriguez would massively improve Manchester United attacking options. That is without a shadow of a doubt. Whether or not he will be good enough and make enough of an impact to be considered our main marquee signing of the summer, I'm not so sure. I still think we need a striker. I'd like to see if James Rodriguez came in, then Martial should play more of a central role in his preferred striking position. That would be a good thing. And maybe we get more goals out of Tony from a central role. But Rodriguez would have to be one of at least two attacking signings if he was brought in. I still think we'd need to bring in a striker. and We still need a central midfielder and one new centre-back. So if Rodriguez does come in, I still feel the three key positions of a striker, central midfielder and a centre-back still need to be addressed by Jose Mourinho, but maybe Rodriguez is coming in. And according to Mohamed Bahafsi, a journalist who we feel has a strong reputation, he's saying that Manchester United are in concrete talks to sign him for 70 million euros. But let me know in the comments, as always, whether you think James Rodriguez is the ideal signing for Man United. Do you think that Ivan Perisic will be more suited to Jose Mourinho's style of management and style of play? You know, he's got a little bit more pace, a little bit more strength. Maybe someone like James Rodriguez, who's a little bit slight, more of a diminutive playmaker type role rather than Perisic, who's more of a powerful playmaker. Do you think he would suit us better? Or is there anybody else that you think we should be looking at instead of Rodriguez? But now that the Griezmann rumours have gone away, 
Expect Rodriguez to come back with a bang just like this. Expect the Perisic rumours to continue. Whatever's happening this summer, Mourinho is strengthening in key positions. And with Manchester United only scoring 54 goals last year in the Premier League, 23 less than Arsenal in fifth place, it's clear we need goals from somewhere. And maybe Rodriguez is going to be one of those players who brings more goals to Man United next season. Thanks for watching. As always, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. Why wouldn't you? Go down there. I think it's down there. It's down there. Uh, we'll see you soon. Take it easy.